after doing the management practices that is required, it will take you about two years. You start having the first production. Remember, I've given you the, the, the production per tree. That's about 300 fruits per year. But the moment this tree grows, eh, the production also will be high depending on the management. The longevity of this tree to give you more fruits depends also with you farmer so that it can give you that longevity of producing these fruits. I'm Chris Jonathan in El Toro Technical Training Institute. I'm an economist. You are watching Imagine Business. Eldora Technical Training Institute invites you for this July and September enrollment. We offer higher diploma, diploma, certificate and artisan in School of Agriculture and Animal Health, Engineering Technology, Business and Commerce, Tourism and Hospitality, Mass Communication and Journalism Studies, among many more. Call or email us to register. July 2024 intakes are ongoing. Eldora Technical Training Institute is an ideology for the betterment of humanity. Um, Mr. Craig Jones. Uh, I'm a trainer here in uh, ETTI farm. I'm an agronomist. When you talk about uh, avocados here, we normally start from the, the nursery, that's the breeding, and also we come to do now the, the farm, that's the field, that's the seedbed, where we are going to, to produce the same one, the avocados, from now being uh, in a smaller stage up to harvesting stage. As avocado is uh, it's a new breed that uh, has been brought to the market, that's uh, according to the international markets. That is uh, European Union uh, requirements. That's why we've come with the As avocado as an institution to develop that's the market and also to uh, interact with the European, the marketing uh, strategies. That's why we've come as an institution to have this As avocado. So this is, uh, we normally have the other avocado that is different from the as avocado. So as avocado has its own uh, qualities and also uh, according to the market demand. Uh, we normally have the, the qualities here, depends on also the what? The adaptation, the fruit size. We normally have the fruit size. We normally have the sweetness of that uh, avocado. Those are the factors that we normally check. And also in terms of the space. At what space, at which space do this avocado maybe take in our field? Remember, we are now going to, we normally have a land as a resource, land as a resource, of which now land is becoming limited. So that's why we we are now going to the work for, for this as avocado because it uses a smaller space. That's why we are going for us. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, in, in breeding of uh, as avocado, we normally start from the nursery. We normally start from the nursery, whereby we are picking the seeds of the, the common avocado from the market. When we go to the market, you will be collecting these seeds. So you come, then you come and propagate this seed using uh, pollutin leaves. Have you seen these black pollutins? So we normally have the small, about uh, 10 by 15 centimeters uh, pollutin. So we normally insert some soil and then we place our seed. Then after germinating, that's about uh, three months or four months, after germinating, then we come and do the, the crafting. The crafting. You will do the crafting when the seedlings is pencil thick. When the seedlings is pencil thick. So when it is pencil thick, then you come and about 30 centimeters high of that polythene sleeve that's after germinating of that seed. Then 30 centimeters, you cut off. Then you will go to the field. Pick now the scion. We normally have the rootstock and what we call the scion. The scion here is now the the top part. This is the top part of, a, of the what? Uh, the, the adult uh, fruit. You pick the top part and then you go and craft your, your cylinder. So after germinating, after about another three months, then it is ready for what? For transplanting to the what? To the field. That's now you've now picked the variety that's uh, the matter plant characteristics and then you improve on what? On a common seed. That's why you will get what we call the us and also we have the other fuerta varieties that uh, we normally breed with this us. Uh, the process here is uh, after now you are supposed to go for site selection. You are supposed to select your site where you are going to plan your art, your your or as avocado. After now selecting your site, it will depend on the type of soil. 
that you are, this as avocado requires. That's we normally have what we call crop ecology. Crop ecology here is the relationship between that plant that you are going to plant and the environment. And the environment that you are growing this avocado. So you must have that knowledge of the crop ecology if this will fit on that soil or not. Yes. So that's why after now checking in our farm, this place fits that avocado. That's why now we, after selecting then, we are supposed to come and measure. And mesh. As of a garden normally uh, takes about a smaller space of about 5 meters. That's about 20, 20 feet. 20 feet. That's uh, 100 feet is only 3 meters. That's uh, we are supposed to take about 5 meters in our land. That's it cannot occupy a, a larger space after now doing the selection. And then after doing the selection, you come and uh, do the digging of those holes. That's holing. Doing the holing, you are supposed after holing, you take your manures. We normally have the the green manures, we have the organic manures, that's the compost, and also we have the inorganic manures. So we normally take the, the compost manures, and then one day of compost manure, yes, in that hole. And then you place at the middle of that hole, that uh, your, your ass of a card, your ass of a card. Then you slightly uh, close, uh, the, uh, close that hole, that, uh, you seal that hole, slightly. So that remember we normally have the soil around that will uh, finish that uh, the closing of that hole. That's uh, after that then you do the mulching. You do the mulching. That's when it is seedling stage. That's the, the procedure. The yes, stamps of spacing is five meters. Five meters. That's from this tree to the other one is five meters. And that's very important because uh, remember we normally check also in terms of the production per tree. Production per tree. But she normally gives you about uh, 300 uh, uh, fruits per year. So if you see the spacing, it will also give you the more production, the more production of the avocados in our farm. That's why we are going for a closer spacing than any other variety that we have outside there. For us, avocado uh, water consumption, it's not that uh, much because of what? After now assessing your, your environmental factors, after assessing your environmental factors. Remember, we normally have the other irrigation uh, methods, like now the drip irrigation. When you go to other parts, maybe if you want to go to Lodo, you will do the flood irrigation. Yes, we normally have also the underground irrigation methods that uh, we are supposed to apply also in our farm. But here, we have checked the ecological conditions that fits our Fagado here as an institution. That's why it minimizes the water, the water consumption. We normally have our pore holes within the institution, but much is normally used on the upper part of the institution, that's the dairy section. But here at our farm, uh, the irrigation part is taken to the water, to the uh, vegetable side. But here is uh, after assessing our ecological conditions, it fits here. So it is less amount of water is being used in, in production of as avocado. That's why we normally urge our farmers to produce this in uh, within our locality here. Yeah. As of Agado, it produces well in uh, 29 degrees Celsius, from 29 degrees Celsius. Uh, less than uh, maybe that temperatures, that's when you go below, there's what we call normally call freezing injuries to the avocado itself, to the fruit itself. That's why we don't want to uh, maybe go below those temperatures. When we check the temperatures here within the weather stations we have around, it gives us the best temperatures that's needed for production of as avocados within our institution. Uh, we normally have the common pests that's, uh, and also the diseases that affect our avocados here at the farm. We normally have what we call Physoptora. That's uh, the Physoptora that uh, it normally affects the roots. That's the root rot of that, uh, the avocado. So rotting of the roots normally also comes with the water. After not assessing the water conditions and also the water, the drainage system that you are using. That's why you are supposed to check the amount of water that you are supposed to apply to avocados. We all also have the pests like the leaf rust, the leaf rust, we have the leaf rolls, we have the white, uh, the white scales that uh, normally affects the water, the, the, the avocados, of which we have the, the methods of now controlling this. Yes, so there's also um, maintenance uh, methods that you are supposed to gather before you, these best and also the diseases affect our ass avocados. That's the preventive measures. Yes, the preventive measures. So you are supposed to take the, the IPM uh, method. That's integrated best management methods. Yes, 
before uh, you introduce your this uh, the any other method of controlling this pest and also the diseases in in our farm they are not that common because uh, after doing the prevent uh, preventive measures so if you are very sharp on this uh, management practices you are supposed to do the preventive so if you are in, in terms of management start from preventive before you come now to any other method of control remember we have the biological method we have the cultural method we have also the chemical method so if you will come with the ipm method in uh, in pest management and also the disease control measures it will assist you to cut off on the on the the issues of uh, monetary value yes in producing these uh, avocados producing these avocados so you are supposed to start from the preventive measures before you go to go to any other method that's the chemical remember chemical is the last option the last option of any disease management uh, measure Uh, as of avocado, we normally have the we normally have the two stages here in uh, avocado. We normally have the first year. That's the first year. That's after now doing the transplanting. We have the first year, and then we have the second year. That's now the blooming. Yes, we normally call it the blooming stage because of what uh, they start development of more leaves. They start. Uh, you now want to have the the management that you are being close to that uh, plan of yours. So it takes about uh, after doing the management practices that is required. It will take you about two years. You start having the first production, yes, the flowering stage and the first production of your avocados, the as avocado specifically, specifically. So the second year. You will see that blooming and also the flowering stage and also the fruit setup and also after some months you start harvesting your your avocados that's uh, the determination of the ripeness of the avocado also checks uh, you are supposed to check on the size we normally have the color uh, the color change and also what we could normally call it uh, the seed size the seed size yes so remember the flesh part the seed should be uh, in as avocado there is that advantage of the seed being smaller than the flesh part. But on other varieties, you can have the seed being bigger than the, the flesh part. That's why we are going for this house. Yes. So when you are checking the seed, it is another uh, factor that you are supposed to check when you are uh, checking the, the rip, ripeness of this avocado. The color change and also there is also the, uh, you can also check many things on the ripeness, the ripeness. In harvesting, yeah? in harvesting, we normally have the process of harvesting. Remember, after harvesting, we normally have the post-harvest practices after harvesting. So when you're harvesting, you are supposed, we normally have a style of harvesting one, these avocados. So you normally twist and also you uplift. You twist and then you uplift so that you don't affect on the branch of what? Of that avocado. So you must teach your farmers or now to uh, harvest these avocados. So after twisting, and then you up lift so i could have shown you how to harvest this we shall harvest so that at least you can see this uh, method remember also uh, we normally do this so that we can come up with this uh, we can have this uh, go in line with these uh, international requirements remember we export these avocados to up countries so some other factors that can affect you is the injuries the injuries so, so the harvesting method will give you the best uh, product at the field so our product, you must harvest that method and also the storage and also the other management, the post-harvest management practices after doing yeah, the harvest. Being fruitful, eh, that's the longevity of this, uh, this uh, avocado to give you, at what time to this avocado give you these fruits. Remember, I've given you the, the, the production per tree. That's about 300 fruits per year. Yes, having uh, cotton, that's depending also with the age of that tree. Remember, I've told you the second year you've seen the, the first one, the first harvest. But the moment this tree grows, eh, the production also will be high depending on the management. So the, the longevity of this tree to give you more fruits depends also with you farmer. Are you able to do the, the management? Did you pick the best variety? Did you do the management like the mulching, the water management? 
yes, the health of that tree? Are you maintaining the health of that tree so that it can give you that longevity of producing these fruits? Yes, so that's uh, this fruit will give you fruits according to you as a farmer how you do the management. How you'll do the management. Remember, we normally have the foliar, yes, foliar sprays, the manure application, the mulching, all this. So it will give you the longevity of these fruits. Uh, in uh, post harvest uh, management practices, and remember, it starts after, after now doing the harvesting of this fruit. That's now we go to now sorting. After sorting, we normally do the grading, yes, and then the grading, then we go to now uh, storage. Uh, there are the storage, we normally have the storage facilities that you are supposed to store your fruit. You don't just only pick any facility to make that fruit to be in a good condition. Remember, we have what we normally call the ethylene production. Ethylene is a, it's a cast that uh, will keep the fruit ripening. Yes, it will ripen after harvesting. Yes, so we normally don't want to uh, mix the climacteric fruits and non-climacteric fruits. Yes, remember we have what we call non-climacteric and climacteric. Yes, non-climacteric fruits are those that after harvesting, yes, they don't proceed uh, doing the what, uh, maybe ripening. Yes, they know ripening after harvesting, but the climacteric, they will ripen after harvesting. Remember our avocado, as avocado will ripen after now doing the, the harvesting. So the storage management facilities will keep you the market demand on how you will store your what? Your avocado. That's why we need to have the cooling systems. After harvesting, we have a cooling system that you are supposed to go and cool and also uh, a certain temperatures so that uh, it will give you that uh, the market demand and also to reach at the market at a certain uh, state that will give the, the customers to be attracted. Remember also, we normally uh, take it to the supermarkets whereby they are supposed to stay there for long. So you are supposed, you are supposed to cool it at a certain facility that is required. Uh, market demand here requires, uh, it is something that most of the farmers normally uh, ask. After now doing the production of the seedlings, where are you supposed now to sell your, maybe the fruits, where are you supposed to sell? That's a question that most of the farmers uh, ask. But uh, as an institution also we are doing this because uh, we've done what we call uh, market research. We must have the data analysis. Have you done the data analysis, the market research, and also the issues of also the, that I've told you that uh, the international requirements. So I'm urging our farmers, they produce this of uh, as avocado, yes, because the research have been done. There is also market that's in terms of the market, the ecological conditions, the weather, yes, and also the in terms of water consumption is low. That's why it is, uh, we pro it is very important. So I had farmers to produce this as avocado after doing all this. There is a rough estimate that, uh, remember after now doing the production, you more, you, that it depends also with the market. Yes, it depends with the market. So the rough estimate of maybe uh, one avocado when you pick. Remember, it depends on uh, how you, you will sell your avocados. There are those who are selling in cages. Remember here at our farm, we normally sell it at cages. Yes, but we, when it goes to the market, they normally sell it maybe per piece. Yes, but here in our farm, we normally sell it at uh, 200 kg, uh, 200 shillings per, per kg, 200 per kg. So if you will estimate, that's 300 fruits per tree. Yes, remember it's uh, when you pick about four, four uh, fruits, four or five fruits, it gives you a one kg. It will give you about one kg. That's about, that's we estimate to be 200 kg shillings per that kg here in our, in our institution. Remember, we normally have the, some institutions that they are coming to ask for the markets of these avocados. That's uh, for the export. So somebody might not talk about uh, lagging with the market because we have, uh, when you come to our institution, we have, because they know that we are producing these avocados, as avocados. So there are these institutions that are coming to ask for, for the farmers who have produced these has avocados. 
Yes. So if they are coming to maybe have a collaboration with their institution, they are ready to get their market. Yes. They are very ready to get their market. Remember also when you go to these, uh, most of the supermarkets, they require this as of avocados specifically. Yes. After checking the qualities and also the what, the all the requirements that's needed. So we have the ready market of this uh, as of avocado. We normally have the 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 what the technology and also the innovations that is chipping in in as of avocado. Remember uh, when you have remember we have uh, different different scales. We normally have the smaller small scale commercial production. We have a larger scale yes uh, production of this as of avocado. So the innovation will chip in. Maybe when we have more production in terms of large scale. That's why we have now the issues of uh, uh, drones chipping in to check the state of the pest man uh, attack and also the diseases. The, yes, we normally have the drones uh, flying around so that it can check each tree in terms of the attack of what? The pest. Then you come and analyze as a what? As an agronomist at which part is this uh, maybe this uh, tree is affected. Yes, we normally have the issues of replication. Replication is another innovation in some parts. Like if you are going to load one, yes, if we have the replication, it's another innovation. That's will chip in. Remember, water is also a resource, and it's not that uh, common in in uh, load water, like this parts of load water, Baringo. So replication is another also innovation that's uh, chipping in. So those are few of the what innovations that uh, we are trying to develop in uh, in as of avocado production. And other avocados. Wow. Uh, depending on, on uh, the space, remember I gave you the two. We normally have the large commercial and also the small scale commercial. This uh, production. So, depending on uh, the space this farmer has, yes, it will give you the amount of the what the the number of plants you need to to plant. Remember this. Uh, it does not require maybe more space or the larger space to produce. If it is five meters, yes, if you can have a quarter. That's having the five meters I've given you as a measurement. It will not take a lot of what? The trees. Yes, that's five by five meters. So a smaller scale, a fewer number of, of trees. If this, you have a larger scale, you'll have more trees in your, in your farm. And my advice to most of the students, remember here, it's a uh, demonstration farm. When you talk about uh, ETTI demonstration farm, it's normally a student pest. It is student pest practical. Most of the, we are coming here on Thursdays. Last day in the Department of Agriculture and Animal Health is the day of practicals. So I hired a student who is outside there to come to the TTI because of what? The, 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 that's to have that technique. Yes. Remember, a student must know how to produce, how to breed and how to manage. Yes. All these trees that you are seeing here, they were planted by the students, managed by students. Crafting is done by the students. Yes. As a trainers, it's only to check and also to give the comp uh, a comment if the student is competent or not competent on that side. Yes, that's uh, our part on uh, as, as, as trainees here. So I asked a student who is outside there, come to TTI, and also if you are watching, welcome.